Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a masquerade mask for Halloween. At least that's what I hope I'm gonna do. I've never tried to do this before. Common theme on this show, actually. I plan to make this thing out of Warbla. Now, if you've never used Warbla before, like myself, um, all it is is a temperature sensitive plastic, a thermoplastic, um, that if you heat up, it becomes malleable and you can put it into whatever shape you want. So my thought here is to take this, heat it up and use my little, my little death mask, I guess it's a life mask, here um, to, to actually shape the thing. Now, if you want to make one of these, I have an episode here telling you how to do so, but you don't technically need one. You could either use one of these little cheap foam masks you can get from like Michael's or whatever, or I've seen people actually do this on their own face. If you do decide to do it on your own face though, make sure you like test the, the temperature of it against your wrist and stuff first so you don't, you know, burn your face as you try. But I've seen people do it. I know it's a possible thing. All right, so for starters, I'm gonna cut a piece of this warbler just big enough to fit over. I'm doing like that little half mask masquerade type of thing. So it looks like for my face, roughly an eight by eight inch square of this will be fine. And once that's all measured out, I just cut it out with some scissors. I honestly thought this was gonna be a little harder to do since it's plastic, but it actually cuts out really easily. All right, cool. So now that I have this little square of plastic, all I have to do is hit it with my heat gun and then it should be able to just kind of drape and shape over my little life mask here. You can actually see it kind of bending and warping as I go. This stuff's actually really cool. It has like the consistency of a soft clay. Now I should be able to just kind of lay it over, start shaping it with my fingers here. Oh, that's awesome. Now it says it has a working time of about three minutes before it hardens up again, but you can actually keep heating it up as many times as you need to in order to get the shape you want. All right, this stuff is really cool. Like it's so malleable. And I can see where you could put it on your own face. Like it's not so hot right now that I can't like touch it or be against it. So I don't think there would be any problem as long as you were careful with it and tested it out first of putting it on your face. All right, now that it's all cool, let's see if it, oh man, that is so cool. Look at that, it's perfect. That's like creepy perfect, that's so cool. Now I will point out right at the tip of my nose here, a small rip did form. It is fairly easy to rip when it's this soft. But that is actually not a problem because another cool feature with Warbler is that it will stick to itself. So to patch a hole, all I have to do is heat up some more and kind of stick it on the inside here so you can't see it and that'll cover up that hole. But let's see, let's see how this, this fits. Oh my God, it's perfect. <laughs> it fits, it's custom, it fits to my face, it's perfect. All right, so the next step is I'm going to cut this into the shape that I want. And to do that, all I have to do is draw out the shape while it's still on the face here and then cut it out with my scissors. And once I like that shape, I carefully drew in and then cut out the eye holes. Then I cleared out the nostrils a little bit so I could breathe. Okay, at this point, I am ecstatic. Like, it fits perfectly. Check that out. Now to jazz this up, I could go ahead and just paint it. But again, I mentioned before that Warblow will stick to itself pretty well. So I wanna add some little raised areas and designs right to the mask before I paint it. To do this, I first cut a template out of paper and put it against the mask to make sure it fits okay. Then laying that on the Warbla, I cut that shape out with my X-Acto blade. To make them stick, all I have to do is heat up that piece that I cut out and heat up my mask and then carefully place the two together. I actually found that by holding it in place as I heated it up, made sure that I was able to bond it exactly where I wanted it. Happy with how that looked, I cut out a few more pieces and put them into place as well. I then discovered I was able to use my hole punch to make these tiny little nibs that when stuck on look just like rivets holding everything together. So I just continued this way, adding little bits and bobbles until I was satisfied. I also stuck on a little piece to fill in that hole area that had torn at the nose. And look at how dope this looks. This is coming out so great. I love all these little raised areas here and the, the design you can make with this stuff because it, it all sticks to itself. It's really cool. All right, so from here, I need to paint this bad boy. I'm gonna start by painting it this matte gesso, which helps prime the surface and gives it a little bit more texture. Now this stuff is either pronounced gesso or gesso. Google likes to call it gesso. I, I don't know. All I do know is that it's the recommended primer when people are using Warbla. Now for my color palette, I'm actually gonna be pairing this with my War Mage. So I'm gonna be going for like a deep blue, a black, and a silver. All of which I have here in some metallic acrylics. And I am really psyched with how good this metallic paint came out. The colors were super vivid and the whole thing looks really kind of metallic. Is it really neat? All right, so happy with the way that looks so far. I'm gonna hit it now with my airbrush just to tone down that color a little bit and add a little bit of extra depth 
by darkening around the eyes and just the general outline of the face. Kind of like doing makeup. We want to bring out those cheekbones. And bam, check that out. That looks so good. Wait, hold on. Let me get the whole effect in. All right. Now let's just put this on. Check that out. And the fit is so good. I don't even really need anything to like tie it into place. It just... It fits like a glove, like it's made for my face. That being said, if you want to, you can add like little straps or something that go around. I might just kind of put it on with spirit gum because I like the look of it just kind of fit to my face, right? But there you have it. You now know how to make your very own masquerade style or LARP or Halloween or whatever kind of mask out of Warbler. And all these little pieces that you have kind of left over, you can reuse them because it sticks together. All you have to do is heat them back up, form it into a little ball, and then you can heat that up again whenever you want and reuse it. This stuff is awesome. I'm going to use a lot of this stuff. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, want to give me some of that like it love and don't forget to subscribe so you know when I release new content. In the meantime, though, keep leveling up, you. Welcome to the end screen. Now I'm not saying if you don't click on one of these videos down here you will be cursed, but I'm not saying you won't be. Do you really want to roll those dice? Click the video.